to see you. Today, we are here with a little catalog from the U.S. Postal Service, USA Philatelic, and that is the study and appreciation of stamps and stamp history and stamp-related stuff. It's a little catalog for spring 2024. A philatelist is a person who enjoys learning about stamps, collecting stamps, appreciating stamps, and stuff like that. That's not me, <laughs> but I think I got this in the mail because a little while ago I bought a bunch of stamps online. I have um, a family reunion that I'm in charge of every, every year, and I like to mail out the invitations, and I, every time I went by the post office, they, they would just have plain stamps, which is fine, but I wanted some fun stamps. And you know, you go up to the counter and they have this little mat there, and they'll have the different stamps. They have different stamps that come out all the time. I don't remember what it was, but there was a particular stamp that I really liked. I liked the loggerhead sea turtle stamp. But they didn't have any. The one stamp that I really wanted, they didn't have any, and they said, well, if you look online, you might be able to get them. Well, I went online and I didn't get those, but I got some other stamps. I want to show you. I ordered a bunch of these because I just thought these were so cool. They have these waterfalls stamps, and these are forever stamps. And it comes like, like this. So it's not the little book that you fold up. So I got a bunch of sheets of these waterfall stamps because I just thought these were cool. And it tells you where they're from, like Deer Creek Falls, Arizona, uh, Nevada Fall, California, Harrison Wright Falls, Pennsylvania, Lower Falls of the Yellowstone River, Wyoming. Yeah, it's just all these, these are in, this was Hawaii, Utah, New York, that's Niagara Falls, Virginia, Tennessee, Washington, Illinois, and that is Upper Falls in North Carolina. I'm not actually sure where that is, but anyway, I thought these were really pretty, so I ended up ordering a bunch of these to mail out my um, invitations to the reunion, and I don't know, maybe since I ordered so many, they added me to a mailing list, and I got this really cool spring catalog of stamps and stamp-inspired products. But before I show you that, I haven't really looked at it yet. I just got it today, and I thought we would look at it together. Before I show you that, I will show you my other stamps. Now these, I found in a place that you're going to see in a video tomorrow night. Yeah, these are, this is a book of uh, airmail stamps. They were eight cents. <laughs> airmail stamps and you see here's a reminder to use your zip code because there was a time in the past when there were no zip codes and when they introduced zip codes they would have to remind people to add the zip codes to the addresses when they mailed things use zip code the last word in mail addresses And they're also asking you to buy and hold United States savings bonds. And they have this little reminder here, add zip to your mail, always use zip code. And we have these little eight cent airmail stamps. And they have the little reminder for the zip code on there. So yeah, you'll see these tomorrow. And I also found an old 20 cent stamp. I remember when stamps were 20 cents. These were not the adhesive type. You had to lick these. They had glue on the back. You had to lick them and stick them onto the thing. And I found a 5 cent Washington stamp. But these I bought several years ago, back when my younger son was really into trains. It's the, it was the 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad. And we have the, these two trains here, the Jupiter and the number 119, it looks like. And the golden spike where the railroads meet. 1869. So 
So I just thought these were cool. 20, yeah, 2019, that's right. Well, he wasn't still into trains then, but I thought these were cool stamps. And I've never used them, I just put them away. But I wanted to show you my cool transcontinental railroad stamps. I do remember thinking at the time I bought them that my son, when he was little, would have loved these stamps. Oh, he would have been all about it. He would have wanted some of these for Christmas. <laughs> he was obsessed with trains for several years. Okay. Not anymore, but he used to be. Okay. So we have this little catalog of stamps and stamp-inspired products. Wow. Okay. Stampsforever.com. We have stamps that are new for spring. Forever stamps, other rates, featured products, stamp listings, and beyond the perf. And you never know what you're going to find if you go online. And that's where I found the waterfall stamps. They have just the coolest stuff that you can find. Like here, coming face to face with endangered sea turtles. So we have some little Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. Green sea turtles. Leatherback, sea turtle, loggerhead, hawksbill, and olive ridley sea turtle. That's Kemp's ridley sea turtle, olive ridley sea turtle. And it says that I think a portion of the proceeds go to some conservation or something. They're available online for pre-order on May 11th. Some, some of these are not yet available, so some of them are going to be available later. Oh, look at the horses. Oh, new for spring, we have horse stamps. Look at that. Celebrating the bond between humans and horses. Oh, wow. Those are pretty. And I already have a ton of stamps, but they're all going to be used up on the invitations. And, yeah, my post office, it seems like every time I go... They will have the, the, the little thing on the counter showing you all the new stamps. They never have any of them. From what I'm told, though, by one of the clerks, they have several people who just collect stamps, and they come, when they get new designs in, they come in and buy a bunch of them. Like, what are they? Why do they need so many of every stamp? Oh, look at this. You can get Carnival Nights stamps. Oh, these are nice. You have the little... The merry-go-round, the carousel, fireworks, all the centrifuge thing, the spinning thing, Ferris wheels. Oh man, the, the swinging chairs. My mom would never let me do that when I was a kid. She said it was too dangerous. I did it as an adult just to see what it was like. It was pretty cool. We have shaker design stamps. Appreciate the beauty and simplicity of shaker design with these stamps featuring photographs of iconic shaker pieces. We don't have shakers here where I live, but we do have actually quite a few Quakers. The area I live in has a strong Quaker past. Lots of Quakers moved here many years ago and helped make the uh, place what it is. The Carnival Night stamps are so from the neon glow of the ferris wheel to the cascade of colored bulbs on the carousel, nighttime at the carnival offers a unique sense of beauty, excitement, and adventure. These are going to be available for pre-order on May 6th. These on the shaker stamps on May 20th. What about the horse stamps? They're available online for pre-order on May 17th. 2024. Did you ever know there were so many different stamps? It's crazy. Betty Ford. Let's see. Those are already on sale. Oh, this one's cool. Floral geometry. That's pretty. Add a contemporary touch to packages and large mailings with this stamp. Now that is a $1 stamp. So that's not like a regular postage stamp. And then we have some different U.S. flags here. Four designs. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, look. Ansel Adams stamps. All the black and white pictures. 
Celebrate one of the most influential and best-known artists of the 20th century with these new stamps featuring some of Ansel Adams' most famous photographs of the American West. These are already available for pre-order. They became available yesterday. Nice! And see, they come on a full sheet like the waterfall stamps. You can also get Ansel Adams' field notes. Each notebook includes an Ansel Adams stamp affixed randomly to the cover and canceled with the official first day of issue postmark. That, you can get a set of four, four random stamps for $19.95. Or you could get a set of 16 for $76.95. We have 10 Heroes of the Underground Railroad, and it looks like for this we have stamp proofs. This comes with seven progressive uh, stamp proofs and the final The Underground Railroad Forever stamps in a mint pane of 20. So you get this full pane and an original 8x10 art print. How much is that? That is $43.95. And see, inside is a timeline of key events in the, le the years leading up to emancipation a map of escape routes, and a brief biography of each of the ten brave individuals featured on these stamps. I wish they showed a larger thing of it. Let's see over here. No, they show you one. Or is this something? This I think this is separate. This is a... Is it? No, it's one of these. Commemorate the Underground Railroad and honor ten of the courageous men and women who escaped slavery and or helped others escape. So we have this one here, it's Harriet Tubman, and they don't show any of the other ones. We also have Constance Baker Motley, uh, the first African-American woman known to have argued a case before the United States Supreme Court and the first to serve as a federal judge. And you get a pane of 20 of these. And, you know, the stamp price just recently, um, I just went back and went up. And they are 68 cents now for a forever stamp. So to get 20, it's going to be $13.60, and that's true for all the forever stamps. Oh, look how colorful these are. We have the Lunar New Year, Year of the Dragon. We have bluegrass stamps. This stamp depicts four acoustic string instruments typically used by bluegrass bands. Guitar, five-string banjo, fiddle, and mandolin for the Lunar uh, New Year. Ring in the New Year with the fifth issuance of the Lunar New Year series featuring a dragon mask imbued with symbolic meaning including the colors gold for prosperity and red for luck. And here you can get a matted stamp so it comes with a little mat like that for $9.95 and it's 5 inches by 5 inches. You can also get a stamp pen with the cancellation card for $14.95 and a Lunar New Year Year of the Dragon red envelope for $5. Oh, hummingbirds. Look at the pretty hummingbirds. Oh, wow. I like these. You can get the Garden Delights note cards. So these are note cards to each of four designs with eight envelopes and eight matching forever stamps for $18.95. Spot varnish makes the birds pop. When do these others come out? I don't think they actually... These don't have a date, so these, these may already be available. These don't have a date either, so they may already be out. We have Celebration Blooms, offering a dreamy tableau of abstract flowers and greenery. This stamp is perfect for any card or note that requires a touch of beauty, including wedding correspondence. I think they're all just the same. You can get manatee stamps. Save the manatees. Hmm. We have little love stamps. We have a dove with a love note. Garden Delights. So we have the little hummingbird right there. We have Ruth Bader Ginsburg's stamp. She has a stamp. 
John Lewis, Winter Woodland Animals, and I guess, I mean, I don't know if these are all the same and these are different. U.S. Flag, John Wooden, Chief Standing Bear, and these are all forever stamps. Osiris Rex, Waterfalls, but that, let me see. That, oh yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. These are the waterfall stamps. These are the ones I got. And it was hard to pick because I was looking at all the different types of stamps. But I really thought the waterfall stamps were really cool. So I got, I bought a bunch of those. Because I send out about a, a hundred, almost 150 invitations every year. So I needed a bunch. Roy Lichtenstein. Eye-catching stamps honor this iconic American artist of the pop art movement. Tulip blossoms. It's the underside of a tulip. Enhance your mail and add a touch of beauty with this stamp featuring a favorite blossom. Ooh, I like this. You can get piñata stamps. Piñatas. Fun and tradition come together in these stamps featuring colorful party amusements inspired by Mexican culture. That's cool. I want to look that one up. I want to see if they have different designs. This is pretty too. Thinking of you. It's like a little bouquet of flowers. A band-aid with a heart. A feather. A couple little party hat. And some ice cream. Kind of looks like it has a, a booby sitting on top of it. <laughs> it looks like a little booby. <laughs> Brighten someone's day with these stamps that come with die-cut, self-adhesive messages of encouragement. I don't see a message on that one. Life magnified. Explore life as few have seen it with these stamps featuring microscopic images of life undetectable by the human eye. Oh, they have skateboard stamps. Art of the skateboard. Bold designs reflect the excitement of skateboarding and the diversity of four unique artists. Tommy De Paola, I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Honor this prolific children's book author and illustrator whose stories contain layers of meaning. And railroad stations, we have stamps with railroad stations on them. These stamps feature architectural gems that exude the history romance and optimism associated with forward motion. We have stamps with other rates. So we have moved out of the forever stamps and we now have these um, kind of different rates for these. We have Saul Bellow. Uh, these are three ounce, one dollar and sixteen cent stamps. Wedding Blooms. That's two ounce. These are two ounce stamps for 92 cents each. You can get a little school bus stamp. Um, for an, This is for if you need an additional ounce to add to your letter. Like, you know, some greeting cards you have to add additional postage. You could get one of these for 24 cents. And a non-machinable surcharge stamp with a pretty little butterfly on it. A Colorado hair streak. For a dollar twelve, and we have a global stamp. These have gone up; they're now a dollar fifty-five. The African Daisy, that is a global forever stamp. Sailboats, the post. This is for uh, postcards. The postcard rate went up as well. It is now fifty-three cents to mail a postcard. Pillars of Creation, that is a priority mail stamp. $9.85. And we have uh, Cosmic Cliffs. That's pretty. This is for Priority Mail Express. $30.45 a piece. And we have Semi Postals. What does that mean? I th oh, I think these are um, fundraiser stamps. So these are the stamps where part of the money goes to the cause. Support a cause through stamps. A percentage of the cost of a semi-postal stamp is contributed to a cause that promotes, promotes national interests. Okay, so the other ones don't. These do. We have an Alzheimer's stamp. Let's see. 
you get 20 of these for $17. So the other ones were what, $13.60? So it's, it's, you know, it's not quite four, it's $3.40 more. Is that right? I can still do math, I think. Breast Cancer Research, those are 17. Healing PTSD, $17. And Save Vanishing Species for $17. And you still get a pane of 20 stamps for that price. They have stamps for business mailers, so you can make them look extra pretty. Want to learn more about exclusive services? Da, 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 da. Go to gateway.usps.com. You can get apples, Meyer lemons, strawberries, one cent, two cent, three cents, blueberries, four cents, grapes, five cents, and pears are ten cents. You can get the Radiant Star. Those are 10 cents each. That is for USA pre-sorted standard. Bridges. Those are 25 cents a piece. And Patriotic bo uh, Block. 5 cents. And Flags on Barns. Those are 10 cents. You can even get envelopes and cards that are stamped. We have the Northern Cardinal stamped envelope or the Mallard stamped card. Um, you get a pack of 10 of these cards for $5.80. And you can get uh, six of these stamped envelopes for $6.06. .06. And they have different sizes for different uh, prices and quantities. And you can see they have more online. We have Tundra Swans. This is a federal duck stamp, $25. Redheads, not more ducks. Federal duck stamp, $25. Hooded Mergen, Mergenser, that's $5. Oh, the $25 federal duck stamps are valid for hunting permits, but junior duck stamps are not. Neither stamp is valid for postage. Well, isn't that interesting? Huh. I never knew that was a thing. We have the 2023 stamp yearbook. So you can peruse a year of stamps with this book. 64 pages featuring a raised gloss varnish and full cover. It's full. Includes 80 colorful commemorative stamps from the 2023 program along with water-activated protective mounts. This is $96. It includes 80 stamps. So you can open it up and see that. You can get a mail-use stamp packet for $38.95 sold separately. And a high-value mail-use stamp packet $51.95. We also have an order form on here where you can take this little form, this paper, and you can fill it out and put in the item number, the quantity, the price. This reminds me of those old Harriet Carter catalogs because I remember they had these little order forms kind of like this and you have your little fold, your little envelope right here. And I can remember my mom ordering stuff from the Harriet Carter or the Lillian Vernon catalog by filling out, you know, like what she wanted, and then she would put in a check for the total. I remember watching her do that and think it was so, it just looks so complicated, you know, like, wow, how does she do that? Or you can put in your credit card information, but of course you want to make sure you put in your, your billing information and your mailing address and stuff. And then you would just detach this perforated little envelope, and it has adhesive, so you just lick it like a regular envelope. Put your payment in your form in here, fold it, and send it, and there's no postage necessary if mailed in the United States. We have other items. We have featured products. Now, these are not stamps. We have the Endangered Species Limited Edition Collector's Set. This limited edition collector set explores 20 endangered species and their habitats. Comes with eight progressive stamp proofs, the final stamps in a mint pane of 20, and a numbered certificate 
of authenticity and it shows you the proofs sort of laid out here. And then here we have novelties. We have the, the some bookmarks. Um, the back of each bookmark bears an affixed stamp canceled with the official first day of issue postmark. These bookmarks are all two inches by seven inches. Right here. We have Tommy de Paola. I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. John Lewis and Tony Morrison. So we have those. These are uh, $5.95 each. And we have stickers too. You can get vinyl stickers. Art of the Skateboard vinyl stickers includes a randomly selected Art of the Skateboard digital color postmark first day cover. You can get a set of four for $13.95. And we have women's soccer vinyl stickers. A set of three is $13.95, and you can also get a women's soccer t-shirt. It comes with a collectible cancellation tag featuring the stamp of the official first day of issue postmark. And they range in price from $23.95 to $24.95. We have more featured products. These are stamp portfolios. This is the Chief Standing Bear Stamp Portfolio, and they have a full collection of other portfolios online. Beautifully designed, folded stamp portfolios reveal the details behind the stamps. Inside, find background information about the subject on the left-hand flap, behind-the-scenes details of the stamp design process on the right-hand flap, and the connections to the philatelic uh, history bottom flap. Also included is a full pane of mint forever stamps along with a special cancellation card. Other stamp portfolios that they have are Railroad Stations, John Lewis, Osiris Rex, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And it looks like they are all, no, I take that back, uh, Chief Standing Bear, Osiris Rex, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg are $23.95. John Lewis is $21.95, and the railroad stations are $25.95. And tulips. You can get stationery. These are velvety soft touch note cards. You can get tulip blossom note cards. In, in, in this lot, you're going to get 10 note cards, 10 matching envelopes, and 10 Tulip Blossoms Forever stamps for $20.95. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this. You can get Sunflower Bouquet and Tulips note cards. You get 10 note cards, 10 envelopes, and 10 Tulips Forever stamps for $21.95. Ooh, you can get the water. Oh, no, this is what I got. The oversized... No, that's postcards. Never mind. <laughs> this is a nice set here for stationery. You get waterfalls, oversized postcards. So you're going to get um, 12 oversized postcards, 12 unique designs, and then the 12 matching forever stamps. Like, I'm very proud of my stamps. I like to show them off. I think they're so pretty. I have like 12 sheets of these stamps. <laughs> I have lots. So, but for 12 postcards with 12 stamps, it's $23.95. And we have the Roy Lichtenstein Oversized Postcard Set. This is uh, $20.95. Thinking of you and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The Ruth Bader Ginsburg ones are $20.95. Thinking of you, those are $24.95. And field notes. Still not quite sure what field notes are. I don't really know anything about stamps. Oh, these are stamp pens. Look at this. You can get stamp pens. It looks like they're all $14.95 each. 
You can get the Ruth Bader Ginsburg stamp pin. Love 2023. Pony cars. Chevrolet Camaro stamp pin. That's cool. Oh, Charles Schultz. You can get Snoopy and Woodstock. Women's soccer and elephants. And these are all $14.95 each. And the U.S. flag stamp pin too. Nice. You can get framed stamps. Wow. So you're going to have the picture here. Whatever the theme is, like horses, shaker design, uh, sea turtles. So you get one. And then over here, somewhere off to the side, you're going to have the stamps included in the frame. It looks like these are pretty much all $39.95 each, except for the shaker design framed stamps. These are $29.95 each. And John Wooden is also $29.95. And Betty Ford. Ansel Adams and Carnival Nights. You can get those too. These are $39.95 each. And we have some matted uh, stamps as well. These are press sheets and commemorative cancellation products. They have a wide selection of press sheets and cancellation products for many of your favorite stamps. Browse the stamp listings on pages 35 to 48 to find your favorites. So you can get the Constance, Constance Baker Motley Stamp Ceremony Memento for $30.95. First day cover is $1.23. The digital color postmark first day color cover is two dollars and eight cents. And over here we have some of the new issues and just different ways you can get those. And more, more of the new issues here. These are all stamps we've already seen. You can get the Year of the Rabbit Lunar New Year too. That was issued last year in January. These are stamp listings alphabetical. How is that alphabetical? Oh, it is. I just somehow I started. Oh, they start over here, yeah. Art of the Skateboard. Celebration Blooms. Sh uh, Chief Standing Bear. Constance Baker Motley. Day of the Dead Stamps, Edmonia Lewis, Ernest Gaines, Eugenie Clark, Garden Delights, Go Beyond, Go for Broke, Japanese American Soldiers in World War II, James Webb Space Telescope, John Lewis, John Wooden, Life Magnified, Love 2023, Love 2024, Lunar New Year, New uh, Year of the Dragon, Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit, Mariachi, Mighty Mississippi, Nancy Reagan, National Marine Sanctuaries, Osiris Rex, Pete Seeger, Pinatas. Pony Cars, I kind of want the Pony Cars stamp. Railroad Stations, Roy Lichtenstein, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Save Manatees, The Underground Railroad, Thinking of You, Title IX, Tommy DePaola, Tony Morrison, Tulip Blossoms, Tulips, they really like tulips, I've noticed, U.S. Flags 2022, U.S. Flags 2023, and the waterfalls. I really like those. Waterfalls again. <laughs> Winter woodland animals. Women cryptologists of World War II. Women's rowing. Women's soccer. And that's it. And we have other rates. Stamp listings like a Purple Heart medal. That's a 68 cent forever stamp. A thank you stamp. That's pretty cool. Western wear. And these we saw earlier. And these we saw earlier, except we do have some 
different floral geometry down here for different prices. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars, and ten dollars. And that is a look at the stamp and stamp inspired products that they have at the postal the US Postal Service for spring of 2024. And I, I I love looking at their stamps. And if you go online, that's where I found more. And I think there were more than what they had in here. Well, they literally say that. You go online for more options. They don't sponsor me. I just, I don't know. I don't collect stamps, but I do think they're kind of cool. I love that we have all these different designs. It's just neat. I, I, find, I find them very cool. I really do like these Carnival Nights ones. These are pretty. They're so colorful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all these fun stamps today. It was really cool. It was a nice surprise to come home and find this in my mailbox. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.